Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner, and today we're going to do a follow-up video on our Bitax overclocking, and uh, we've unlocked some new secrets thanks to some help, and we're gonna show you the tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Bitax. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and spin that intro. And we're back. This is a brand new Bitax Gamma. Don't want to ruin the surprise in the unboxing, but we're going to open this one up in a future video. We're going to slap a new cooler on it and we're going to beef it up. But today, that's not what we're doing. We're just doing a short video to show you how to actually better overclock the Bitax Gamma. Recently, I created a video showing exactly full in-depth how to overclock, how to go and update your firmware, um, how to update the dashboard, um, how to go down through your different frequencies, adjust the uh, core voltage to try to maximize your hash rate. Well, I was missing a really key step in there on how to more fine tune, how to go beyond those slider limits because they just have simple drop downs. You click the drop down and you have to select one of the frequencies and one of the core voltages that are pre-programmed. Or do you? You just have to know how to get around it thanks to some help from one of my viewers. Appreciate you. Um, we're gonna jump over into our session real quick and just show you exactly how to do that and show you how some of our numbers are looking. Full disclaimer, you overclock at your own risk. You start messing with core voltages um, and you're messing with frequencies. You can damage your board, especially if you do not have adequate cooling on your board. And this goes for any mining device, GPU, CPU, APU, any device, any ASIC, any kind of chip design, if you do not have adequate cooling, you will inherently damage the uh, machines. So yeah, let's hop over and take a look real quick. All right, so here we are, we're over in AxOS. This is a brand new Gamma that I literally just set up and got mining. I went ahead and updated the dashboard uh, the, and the for firmware and the website. Um, it's really easy to do from your settings. Just go down and then you uh, update the bin and the ESP and that's it, restart everything. Um, you have to actually Generally, I unplug it completely, plug it back in, and then refresh the website, and then it'll update the website as you want. It. But what we're doing is I wanna show you these other overclocks. So let's go back to the gamma that I used in the previous overclock video, and I wanna show you what it's running at now compared to what I had it running at, and it looks really good now. So here it is, it's been running for quite a while. It's, um, I got 1,890, uh, accepted shares 42 rejected. I'm running 1.38 terahash and uh, but you can see on the little line here Let's move me out of the way real quick and you can see the little dotted line here shows my average I'm actually averaging 1.3 terahash and honestly this thing could be pushed quite a bit more I'm gonna show you how to uh, elevate beyond the normal drop downs but the reason I haven't went beyond that with this specific one is right here. So the ASIC chip with that giant argon thermal cooler is just fine. It's showing 50.1. Still plenty of headroom on the cooling there. But the voltage regulator temperature is at 68C. It goes up to 69, about 70, depending on the time of the day and what the other devices are doing around it. Um, but the point is, that's with two little copper heat sinks on the back and with an aluminum heat sink on the front of the board as well, right on both sides of that, um, of that MOSFET, that MOSFET, the power delivery. I'm trying not to push that beyond 70. And honestly, if you want to go up higher than what I'm doing here, the optimal solution is to put a little fan on the back as well as on the front, because then you're blowing fan air directly onto the MOSFET. I, I've, I had a user state that they've got theirs up to almost two terahash stable um, and only running about 25 watts. I'm running 20 watts here. So yeah, that's that's pretty wild. But uh, let's just jump into it and show you where to do settings. We'll do it on this brand new one. And I haven't changed the color. We're still red and black, but it, it, this thing started off pretty good. 35 accepted shares running 1.8 um, terahash. So not too shabby um, if we go up here and look. 
at the numbers 1.17 and whatnot. But what we want to do is we want to get into our settings and we want to adjust these sliders. So let's jump over there. Hitting, we're going to hit the settings um, tab in the top corner. And real quick, I just want to mention, check out these new colors down at the bottom. You can change your color scheme for black and red or black and blue and black and green and black and purple. It looks really slick. I'm using the purple on my Argon Thermal Bidax Gamma. Maybe we'll switch to green on this uh, Ice Tower version. But uh, yeah, so that it looks really slick when you add that in there. See those cool little sliders and your bar graph turns the, the whole colors. It's pretty nice. Nice little quality of life add-on they did on the website. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go to what we care about. We care about this here overclocking. And right here is what we're talking about. The frequency on this is both the set to default at 525. The core voltage is the default 1150 on this model, this brand new one I haven't even touched yet. And if you want to adjust your frequency, obviously you hit the drop down and you can do 550. So you go up 25, 25, 25, 25. You can increase by 25 a megahertz up to 550 megahertz up to 575 megahertz um, and so forth then obviously as you crank the frequency the chip's going to need more power or it's going to starve so then you want to adjust your core voltage but again you're on you're on 1150 you can jump it up another 50 milliamps up to 1200 or another 50 milliamps above that which gets you up to 1250 but what if you want to go more what if you want to go up to 1300 milliamps what if you what if you want to go to 1275 or 1225 or what if you want to go somewhere in between the 25 increments here that's what we're going to show you so we want to go beyond the stretch here and all you got to do is right click in one of the boxes and then we're going to inspect we're going to use the inspect feature here and that's going to open up your elements over to the right basically the html coding shows up up here in your top right corner um, but that's not what we're worried about but when you do that it now opens it to over here to the right you have little arrows instead of just hitting and clicking when you click on there you don't get the drop down anymore it doesn't do a drop down box where you have to select pre setup selections it allows you to change it by increments of one okay we want to go clear up the 1300 Let's just use the up arrow and we'll go 1300. You want to go to 1300? Click it to 1300. Then hit enter. That'll, that'll jump that thing up. You want to go to 1180. Manually type it in and use your arrow. Hit enter and then it just applied. Frequency, the same thing. We could only go by 25 uh, increments. We want to go 535. There you go. Now we've just jumped it up 535 frequency, core voltage 1180. So by doing this, not only does it give you the chance to overclock way beyond their standard set, it also gives you the chance to more fine tune it. If you try 575 frequency and you're doing 1250 on the core voltage and it's still fading out because you don't have enough power but you don't want to go clear up a whole nother tier because maybe you're cool you're worried about your cooling well move it up just 10 on the core voltage restart that thing see if it'll go or move the frequency down by five try it again this is how you can really fine tune those overclocks again that's that's why this bit x gamma here is running so nicely just staying just staying at that 1.35 1.38 the average has been 1.3 but man it's it's been really consistent really solid yeah real quick after you've already upgraded by increments outside of the normal range and then you hit the x in the top corner to quit looking at the inspect view it actually post them here but then it'll put custom beside them see how it now it says 535 custom 1180 custom so yeah it's just a really neat feature and a neat way to get more out of each of your devices so so i think that does it let's go talk about this thing and close it out let's go i'm sure you're asking yourself what about the giveaway altered yeah the giveaway if you're asking what giveaway check out our previous giveaway video the giveaway number one it explains 
how our giveaway series has been and we're already a number of weeks into our giveaways but we still have loot to give away and there's still a chance to win so there are a few rules to this giveaway number one you have to be subscribed to the channel number two you need to like the video and number three and most importantly you need to comment with the key phrase down below and today's key phrase is altered bid axe. Make sure to comment down below. Use the key phrase altered bid axe to get enrolled in your chance to win some of the massive amounts of loot. So yeah, there you go. How to really, really get to the nitty gritty and overclock and push these things. Again, it all depends. How far can you push? One, it depends on the uh, silicon quality. Different chips are inherently different some react better to different voltages some react better to different clocks and that's why they call it the silicon lottery and number two is obviously you need to adequately cool not just the asic chip on this one because you can put a massive tower like i did the argon thermal uh ice tower or the ice tower on there and you can really cool that asic chip but if you're not cooling the mosfet as well the power delivery that's on these boards then you're going to overheat that and again you can damage the mosfet you can damage the board so it's you have to find a balance number one you got to cool everything as much as you can to crank them as much as you can how much can you crank one of these i know a user is cranking two terahash on one of these boards that's pretty wild that you can crank two terahash out of a single asic chip running about 125 or just running 25 watts rather that is wild to me that is mind-blowing so yeah and now the biggest and most important question i know you all were asking altered where did you get that awesome shirt and that swag okay so check this out this is a, an official dogecoin shirt uh it's got the nice little flag super thick high quality material and of course it's got the hobbyist miner logo there pick this up from the hobbyist miners new store go check it out it's got caspa it's got doge it's got bitcoin it's got asic it's got gpu it's got mugs and all kinds of cool swag go check it out it's at the hobbyistminers.store i'll put a link for it down in the description but yeah i think that about wraps it up i just wanted to do a quick one to show you those additional settings because i would be remiss after i spent all that time on that other overclocking video to not share with you that really important tip so yeah if you got questions or concerns make sure to comment down below and say hey altered you're dumb because you should have done this or hey this is how i do it and this is the hash rate i get out of them comment down below share with us that's what it's all about man this is an open source project with the the bid axe and this is an open community man let's share the love if you're new to mine and you need some help make sure to join the misfit mining discord always plenty of seasoned vets and they're willing to help you out and if you like the video you know what to do smash that like button and subscribe for future content Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Today we are going to use bit bitty 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 pop pop it about but a baby to be about today to that pool to bit axe bit axe gamma 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 doge altered gamma altered bit axe let's do that